Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Hey y'all, it's your girl Mimi and in today's video we're going to talk about how you can start your very own business. When you're starting your very first business, you want to make sure it's something that you're passionate about. Otherwise, it's going to show in your work. If it shows in your work, people are going to think like, oh, maybe they kind of just want my money. People do feel when you're in it just for the money. So make sure it is something that you're definitely interested in doing. Figuring out your why. Why do you want to start this business? Is it because it's something that drives you to start your business every day? Is it something that makes you feel like you have to get up in the morning to do? Or is it something that makes you feel like, oh, this is going to pay the bills. This is going to make everyone else happy. Is it something that you're doing for you? If it's not something that you're just doing for yourself, then unfortunately, it's probably not a good business for you to start in. The very first step in starting your business is coming up with a business plan. With your business plan, it describes every detail, well, just about every detail that you want to have in your business. Your business plan should include your executive summary, company description, branding plan, your marketing plan and timeline, your team members and roles, and your financial summary and funding if necessary. In another video, we're going to discuss in detail how to make a business plan. All right, great. So now we figured out this whole business plan shenanigans. The next part is to get your EIN number. So your EIN number, that is going to be your federal ID number. And this will help you get some items in wholesale or bulk on most business websites. Most websites such as Walmart, Target also has a business platform where you can use your EIN number to get something at a cheaper rate. So registering for your EIN number, that part is actually free. But once you register for your state, the cost could vary by the state. While you're registering for the state, you want to make sure that you get your trade name. So that for me would be Love, Passion, Hair. For you, it would be whatever you decide to register your business as. Make sure that you get your sales and tax use license. And again, that could vary by state. Some states call it a resale license. However, that would allow you to charge legally the state's tax amount. Once you register your business, you're actually ready to start. Honestly, you can begin building a platform. So there's a few different website platforms that you can try. Before I started to commit to a website, I did use Google Sites because it is free and it is a great starting point for just starting a business. One thing you want to do is get well acquainted with Google or Microsoft. The reason this is important is because it's going to help you stay organized. You can use that to help with documenting things about your business, about your employees. You can also use like the spreadsheets to help organize inventory and expenses. There's a lot of benefits that come with having Microsoft or Google Drive or some sort of organization. After you have your website and all that great stuff, you want to make sure that you have some social media. Where can we find you? Nobody knows until you add your social media account. So you want to make sure that you are registered with Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all the places that people can find you and your business. So I gave you the steps how to start your business. So since you already completed those steps, now it's time for you to actually start a business bank account. And you want to make sure you take to them your EIN number, your tax ID number and all those great things. So that way they can register you with a actual professional bank account that you can use when filing your taxes. Hopefully after this video, you guys are about to start your own business. If you feel like you still have some questions, make sure you guys DM me at Love Passion Hair, or you can also schedule yourself some business coaching lessons. And I have that on my website as well. And that will be in the bio. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.